this is an Omnigraph machine, uh, Omnigraph automatic transmitter. Uh, it transmits Morse code uh, for practice sessions for training in classes or personal use. You can hook up headphones here. Uh, just an overview, you've got a uh, wind-up motor which drives a set of discs. You've got an automated key mechanism, keying mechanism, a manual key for practice, and a small buzzer. I've applied three volt power pack to the terminals there to operate the buzzer. So it would normally be operated by battery in a classroom. The motor itself is clever. It's got uh, a governor mechanism here. These weights fly out uh, with centrifugal force to control the speed of the motor so it doesn't go too fast. But it also has a uh, friction clutch that presses down on this disc here. You can see the shiny track in that clutch to control the speed. You can slow it way down or let it fly faster. It's a regular wind-up motor, like a clock. And if we set that going, you can see the governor working. And then I can adjust the flywheel clutch to slow it down. Or I can open it up and let it go faster. You can see the gear is ready to drive the disc. Before I engage that, just want to show you something clever about these discs and the keying mechanism. There's a set of five discs. These each have a Morse code engraved or etched on, on the edges on the entire circumference. And what's clever, they're all replaceable or interchangeable. Uh, what's clever is that the drive disc has these levers on the bottom and you can disengage all of them. If I, if I played it like that, uh, whatever disc was being played, it would stay on the same disc the entire time. For example, if you're practicing, if you're a beginner and you're practicing, here's a, here's a single disc, what it looks like. And this particular disc happens to have the, the word A R M S, arms. A R M S and one more time A R M S so it's giving you the word arms you could have it play that over and over and over if you engage one of these levers every revolution it'll change to the next next disc so after three words arms it would go to the next one this one happens to be C O A T, coat. C O A T, C O A T, it's the word coat. And then you have on the rest of these five, this set, you have the word pack, rack, and rain. See, coat, arms, pack, rack, and rain for four letter words. The reason these are for, you can tell these are for a beginner is because of the spacing between the characters. It's going to go slow even with the motor going fast. Uh, it's much more time in between as compared to this set, which are much closer together. I found that some of these are uh, American Morse code, which is also known as railroad code, which is obsolete now. There are some people in the country who, who use it for fun. Um, but it's uh, these are the these uh, the the coat uh, four letter word stack is the only stack that I found so far that has uh, international Morse code. Um, along with this whole device came about a hundred discs in American Morse code. So I'm going to put this back in. I oh, I got to show you the clutch mechanism. When those tabs on the back of that drive disc go under here, it raises this arm to contact the next disc, then it goes back down. So it starts at disc number one, goes to two, three, four, five, and back to four, three, two, and one. If you engage all of those tabs, 
you get random letters. Another ingenious feature of this OmniGraph. Oops. If you engage all of these in the out position, the activated position, then every few characters, it's going to go to the next disk. So it's going to be totally randomized. If somebody starts to learn the randomization, you can just flip one of these and have it totally different. It changes the entire sending as it randomizes your characters. Very clever. I'm going to keep it on totally random right now. Put this back on. And engage it so you can hear what it sounds like. At the same time, I'll show you the touch, the uh, mechanism working here as it shifts. I'll slow it down for you. So by turning this clutch. And slot way down. And it goes to the top disc. Disc number four. Disc number three. You can see the lever coming around. Disc number two. Number one. Fascinating piece of equipment called the Omnigraph. Headphones go here. What you hear in the headphones is the exact same buzz from the buzzer. And uh, there you have it. $14.95 back in the day because it's because it comes with its own key and buzzer. Otherwise they were $12.95. And for two cents each, you can send these discs back to the Omnigraph company and they'll, they will, for the two cents of shipping and handling, they'll send you another set of five discs. So there you have it.